back with us. Final segment tonight. The Republican effort to make the September 11th attack on Benghazi into a scandal is really about one thing and one thing only. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. The Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. The Secretary of State. The Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton. If you listen to the other side, you'd think it's time just to move on from this. They would agree with Secretary Clinton. Oh, yes, it's nothing but a big distraction. Republicans are looking to smear Hillary Clinton and distract us from the issues that Americans really care about. Which is why on Wednesday, Republicans held their, count them, ninth hearing on Benghazi. It was a six-hour hearing, and Republicans still failed to produce a smoking gun. This is all an attempt to manufacture an Obama administration cover-up to derail his agenda and fire up the Republican base as we head into the midterm election cycle. But who needs evidence for a right-wing conspiracy when you got Shooter around throwing out the flamethrower? You know what I mean? Here he is. An interview, Dick Cheney, with the UK's Daily Mail. Cheney called the Benghazi attack a failure of leadership. And the Obama administration, he said, uh, should have been ready before anything ever happened. That's right, folks. Dick Cheney, the vice president during the biggest national security failure in the United States history, wants us to talk about failures of leadership. Let's focus on the diplomatic safety issues during the Bush administration. Let's talk about these 64 attacks on American diplomatic targets during those years, if we're going to be fair about it. I'm just asking. Uh, where was the Republican outrage then? House Republicans voted to cut the administration's request for embassy security funding by $128 million in 2011 and $331 million in 2012. Thankfully, negotiations with the Democratic-controlled Senate Democrats restored about $88 million of that administration's request. But where was the hearing on that? This boils down to a bureaucratic tug of war over talking points between a couple of agencies. Uh, if there was any error on the part of the White House, I think it was just to cogitate to make sure that the correct information came out. Although I could be wrong. But it just doesn't seem like there is a cover-up. There's a lot of rehashing of information at these hearings. Joining me